get you some money. Don't be a dumb, go get you some money. Go get you some money, you out with nothing. Just bought a stick in the can with a hundred. Give me a leg in the can with a twenty. Shit, I always wish in the can with a hundred. I ain't standing on some nigga that done. We Go shoot the ball. Can I have my phone? Go shoot the ball. Can I have my phone? No, he's not coming. Say less. I'm going to make sure I put a bullet through your fucking head. All right. Get your shit together, B. Home. Welcome back to the Patreon. Um, we talking about Marcus Cousins. Uh, this bitch supposedly, uh, why he threatening and shit like that. Let's see what's going on. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> Who, before we even get started, my niggas, stay off these fucking phones. Let's stay off these fucking phones. Uh, if you in, if you are, if you a quarter million dollar slave, you have to stay off of these fucking phones. Get off, you know, pull some shit up in court or some shit like that. On some, uh, look what this nigga said to me type shit because this is exactly what's gonna happen. So don't, these, these are nothing ass bitches that you're dealing with. You understand that they retarded as fuck. So why the fuck even give them any thing to give to anybody to fucking destroy you. Don't give them the tools to your destruction. Go shoot the ball. Go shoot the ball. No, he's not coming. I'm, I'm just gonna play that at the beginning um, so that y'all can hear that uh, just in case y'all didn't hear it. Um, dog, look what the fuck happened. Hold on. So. The Marcus cousin is about to get fucking married. And he wants his son to be at his fucking wedding. And this nothing ass bitch will not let him. Ha I did not know that, dog. Who the fuck was that hit me up and said, uh, was that bag? Was that Max? Said, uh, might have been Clark Kane. Who the fuck was that that said, uh, should you have a child before, should you go ahead and have a, a, your child before you get on, uh, or wait till after? I, I was like, no, I don't, the children, having children should not be on the, the plate. That, that shouldn't be nowhere in your, if you're trying to be successful, children, shouldn't be no on you you should be tunnel vision to your goal i'm trying to get here i'm trying to get here i'm trying to get here because you know that once i get here i'll take care of everything i'll take care of everything but right now i need to get here so if i'm in the water if this cold ass titanic water which i just found out that they actually sunk the titanic on purpose because of the um federal reserve people that were actually on that fucking boat crazy as fuck but if i'm trying to get my people saved i have to go get this motherfucking life raft so all these people screaming ah help help i can't be focused on that i have to get to this motherfucking life raft i have to get to this life raft so i can help my people everyone's drowning in fucking poverty i need to get to the life raft all the children and bitches and, and getting all that. Fuck all that shit. Gotta get to this fucking life round. And that's what we have to be at, man. Um, and, but as far as, you know, the, the, the question. And, and I mean, I understand the question because 
I don't want to get, I don't want to have a baby by a bitch once I get in the industry because these are nothing ass bitches also as we've seen with every famous bitch that got pregnant. I got to do this future video on Eliza Rain. This bitch is screaming about it don't matter how the baby got here, she here now. Typical nothing ass bitch fucking phonics. Bitch, you stole the child out my dick. You know fucking well that if if you would have told me while we was fucking that oh I'm finna get pregnant, I'm finna I'm finna have your baby. Oh, hold the fuck on. I thought we already talked about you being on the shot. Hold the fuck on. Hold on, you said hold on. Not only did you say you was on the shot, you said your tooth was tied. And you said if some magical way you do get pregnant, you're aborting it because you got a life that you're not trying to fuck up by having a child. What do you mean? Was that just a sexual reference? What are you talking about child as I'm fucking you raw, bitch? We've already spoken about this. But at this point, in this, in this day and age that we in, you cannot believe what a hoe say. If you are a nigga with any type of nigga, you can be a local celebrity. Nigga, uh, the hoe is having a baby. Oh, yeah, I got, yeah, I'm A.O. baby mama. Before A.O. was in it, you know what I'm saying? But he a local legend, so fuck it. I got, I'm A.O. baby mama. What the fuck, man? I'm little JoJo baby mama. Mm -hmm. Come on, bitch. You trying to live so you don't give a fuck about making a name for yourself. You just fucking, I'm going to get my name off a nigga. That's what I'm supposed to do because I'm a nothing ass bitch. But, um, no, nah, I can understand the question as far as should you have the child before or after because if you have the child before you get on, maybe you feel like, um, the, um, the chances of, uh, you, the bitch being a gold digger is, is slim to none, but that's not true as we see here. This is his first baby mama, and as he's moved on, which you will, you're not going to stay with your first baby mama. This is a, a band from the, um, in order when, at the gym, the Y, uh, to go to the basketball court, you got to uh, have one of these and shit like that because it's in the other building. But, yeah, so... You not gonna be with the hoe anyway. You just you don't even really you like fucking a bitch, but you gonna like fucking any hoe. You know what I'm saying? Like pussy feel good, pure point blank. Um hair feel good, you know what I'm saying? Like any hoe can do that. You know what I'm saying? Um You're gonna grow apart. You are gonna grow apart from this person. Um you're gonna get tired of this person. Not just sexually but mentally you're gonna get tired of it the shit's gonna get stale she's gonna do shit trying to get your attention that's gonna make that's gonna bring more attention into the relationship and and it's just it's, it's gonna fuck up and, and like i said you can believe that you're gonna be the one out of a million but you're not you're not so that's something that you cannot control. What you can control is the focus that you give. The focus that you give to your dreams, your goals, your aspirations. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you can also control the focus that you give to distractions, which should be none. Um, after you become successful, you can give bitches orders. Like, bitch, if you don't take this fucking shot then I'm not fucking with you period I ain't taking no shot okay next a successful nigga will never have a you know what I'm saying a scarcity of fucking women that want him are you serious regardless of how the fuck you look that's the plus side for you regardless of how you look you become successful nigga you turn to seal Shit, Dennis Rodman, Scotty Pippen, nigga, Bobby Smurda. Here it is. So she over here, some bullshit place. The reason why she's so calm, let's speak on this. 
the reason why she's so calm is because she knows that I'm going to start recording right now because now he's mad. She's probably been trying to tap a bitch on the shoulder to get their phone for fucking 30 minutes. 30 fucking minutes. Just, and that's why he said I'm going to ask you this one more time. So she been spinning in there. What you say? I can't hear you. Huh? Huh? Give me a phone. Huh? I can't hear you. Get the phone. Uh huh? I can't hear you. What you say? Now she finally got a phone, and I so so you want me to do what? I'm gonna tell you this one more time. Mm hmm. And she just recording. It's so fucked up, dog. It's so fucked up. It's so fucked up that a bitch can use her emotions as justification for her actions. But a man Aki Get out the porch Um, so you bait him, you make him mad, you make him mad, you make him mad. And then, quiet! And then, when he finally explodes, you think this is the first fucking time that something like this has happened? No, he's kept... His mouth closed. He's giving her space. So as DeMarcus Cousin watching YouTube, he come across the Big Facts podcast, and I'm talking about nothing ass bitches. That nigga right, bro. We got to do something. I'm talking to me and two movement. We got to do something. But you niggas don't do a motherfucking thing. If you... Contact me through back channels behind the scene. Hey, man, look, man, I like what you do. I want to help you out, but I, my name can't be in it, man. Nigga, I'm going to respect the fuck out of that, man. But y'all niggas don't do shit. Y'all let movements like the Men 2 movement die. So now when some shit like this take place, I mean, I put this shit on my Patreon. I'm not putting this shit on the big channel. Fuck that. You niggas don't give a fuck about shit. Fuck that. I gotta keep defending you niggas for, man. You, Cause it don't, it don't apply to you. It don't apply to you, right? You got your shit together. Now you, you straight. It's all good on your end. It's some other niggas. It's some broke niggas that got problem with their baby mama. It's them niggas. They don't know how to handle their shit. You a rich nigga, and you can't even get your fucking child for your wedding. One of the most famous niggas in the NBA, right there across the bridge. You can't even get your child for your wedding. But when shit like this, when movements start, because niggas ain't got mad before you and said we need to do something about it, Ah, oh, man, yeah, I ain't, I ain't with that shit, bro. We'll do it. Handle your business, my nigga. Handle your business. I'm doing this for more niggas to learn. So, I, and and see, I can't even, I, like I said, I, I, I believe that if a celebrity was going to reach out, like I said, I'm going to D.C., I'm doing my move, we're going to do all that shit, but I feel like with the work a nigga put in, somebody supposed to be in, Hey man, I like what you're doing, man. Keep keep up the movement. Somebody gotta ride for niggas. Somebody gotta speak what the fuck it is. Somebody gotta say what the fuck it really is. Everybody can't sugarcoat like, oh man, they crazy. Ain't no they crazy. This is a nothing ass bitch. So the alternative to this whole thing is fuck it. I don't even want the child for the wedding. I don't give a fuck about no child coming to no wedding. Now you a nothing ass nigga. Now you a deadbeat. But here I am begging you. Bitch, and, and even worse to this shit, he might have even paid her. 
He might have even paid. Like, look, I know it's your week or whatever the fuck. Look, I'm going to pay you a little extra. Let him come up here so he can be a part of my wedding. I want my son to see me. We know what the issue. We ain't got to talk about it. Obviously, you don't want, like, you a nothing-ass bitch. Not you getting the money, but that's not. I keep trying to tell niggas with the first baby mama. If that was his second baby mama, she would have let the child go because all she give a fuck about is the money. It's the first baby mama. That's the one. That's the one that was you know, the love and all that right there. That's the chemistry and shit like that. The second one, that was a fucking career move for her. That was a career move. You understand? The first motherfucker. If the the baby mother is a nothing ass bitch. That's why you go and look to see if your baby mama fits these stats. These specifics. These details. Still didn't say this uh, synonym I was trying to say. This description. If she don't fit this description, then she's a good woman. But if she fits this fucking description, you have a nab from the fucking jump. And nabs can also be created. I might need to talk about that. So, this bitch, my child ain't finna be part of that wedding. Why do I? But if she get married. You better fucking believe that little boy is going to be part of that shit. But nobody want to support the Men Too movement. Nobody give a fuck about men's rights. Didn't I tell you niggas? Didn't I tell you niggas that your time will come? Every one of you niggas, your time will come. But yet and still... Nobody puts nothing behind the scene. Nobody shows support. From the lack of support that I've gotten, a nigga might just shut the shit down. I'm three S's, my nigga. Can give a fuck. It's you niggas. I want my child for my wedding. Now I'm trying to goddamn, I need to. So why in the fuck would you not support a man's fucking movement? Men's rights in all fucking facets, in all ways. So it, it, I'm a, I, ain't, I ain't gonna lie, my nigga, this shit is kind of difficult for me because I'm, I'm I'm fighting two battles. I'm trying to point out how much of a nothing ass bitch this hoe is, but at the same time, it's like, How long have I been pushing this shit, dog? The fucking GoFundMe and the fucking uh, Change.org petition is at a standstill. Hmm. Let's see what the fuck happened, man. Go shoot the ball. Go shoot the ball. Pay attention to that. Dog, this is a nothing ass bitch to the fucking core, dog. Uh, go shoot the ball. The father is on the phone and she has him on speakerphone. The son walks up. She wants him to leave. Get out of here. She can go to the ball. Sneaky, vindictive. You know that what you're doing is wrong. You don't want no you don't want no witnesses around. You don't even want the child to know so that then you can go back and tell the child he didn't want you there. Man, see I got I gotta watch I gotta watch the way I talk about this shit, man, because I I really this is a glass table and I, I really be done broke this bitch, dog. 
See, this is where the shit drives you to. It drives you to anger because you're in a place of helplessness. The only thing that you can do, and I, I don't even know, the only thing that you can even do is go to prison for the rest of your life. That's, that's it. That's all. That's all that you can do is go to prison for the rest of your life. So you just, it ain't no middle ground. There's no middle ground. See, the thing that you have to understand is, because there is no middle ground, you go in that fucking court and you fight the same way she does with that fucking paperwork. That is the only thing that you can do, short of you going to prison and throwing your life away. And some men have done that. Fuck this shit. This bitch got me fucked up. I'm going to put you where evil people go. This bitch, shoot the ball. You didn't want that child. You don't think that child want to go to DeMarcus Cousins even just being around him dog I wanna damn I wish I would have put this bitch on the main page cause I got so many questions I wanna ask I'm gonna release I, I'm, I'm gonna try to release this motherfucker man um because I, I, I just wanna ask please somebody post this to a nothing ass bitch page I just wanna ask why why can't you fight the same way he fights? Fight by getting a, a better spouse. You have to fight by keep what how if you really I'm I'm bossed up, I don't give a fuck about no nigga. I'm so glad I ain't I made it mm, uh first baby dad. Mm, nothing but a mistake. All that so you all on that shit. Why the fuck do you have to use the child as a weapon then? Do you understand what that does to the man's psyche? I, I don't have that many options. Go to prison for the rest of my life. Just say fuck the child. Or go and fight the, the paper war with these fucking people. Which I, they still not going to give me what I fucking need. Which is full fucking custody. Have we not seen at this point. But of course we've seen what happens. We've seen what happens when you give the, put, uh, the majority of the custody to the fucking woman. We get what the fuck we've been had. Why would the fucking government turn it the fuck around to where the father gets to choose? Oh, fuck it. Change the law to where a woman can have an abortion when a man says don't have an abortion. So if she has the child, a man can have a financial abortion. A woman can have a child, get tired of the child after years of being a parent, and drop them off for adoption, no strings attached. A man can't fuck a, a nothing ass bitch in a in a club and don't give a fuck about what the fuck happens. This was her child, and she went and took him to a fire station, took him to the church. No fucking strings attached. It that's obvious. This is obvious. Adoption. Man can't do shit like that. How the fuck does that work? I've said this, dog. I've said this. And I'm, I'm trying. Let me speak to you fucking people. In, but see, I, I can't speak to the people in charge because you love this. Whether the man uh, says fuck the child and the child goes out and just be a fucking delinquent. Whether the man... Uh, goes to prison for the rest of the life. That's good. No matter what happens, you guys win. You want us to be in this. In. Uh, it doesn't. The system doesn't work if the black man and the black woman work together. The system crumbles to nothing. The black man has to be at odds with the only person who can help him, which is the black man. The black man and the black woman have to be at odds. 
if you want this woman to kick out inmates, you have to not only take the father away, but you have to put some animosity there. There has to be some type of fucking tension. The day that that starts to change in real life, not that uh, I love my black man, I love my, not that bullshit because you, you love black men, not the black, just not the black man that, that's the father of your child. You support black business, but you won't support your son by letting him go be with his father. You want to go out this bitch, uh, herking and lurking, shot the case sign, uh, and, and 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 try to go find a, a stepdaddy for him, and just hope the stepdad ain't ain't a fucking pedophile. You nothing as I once again I ask the women. You've done something like this before. Do you feel like that doesn't deserve us to now? If someone, if a teacher at the school scolds your child, you run up that motherfucker and try to fight her. You love to say black fathers don't care but now when a black father cares you use it against them you do all of this this is why the black man leaves the child I can't I'm so sorry I can't do nothing if I keep trying to find ways to grab you and get you and raise you I'm going, it's not going to work. I'm going to end up going to prison. How can I deal with this? I paid her. I paid her $10,000 just to let, to, to let you come to my wedding. She reneged and then laughed at me. And then recorded me to make me look like I'm the evil one because I love my motherfucking son. Calm down. I gotta calm down. Lord, let me calm down. Woo. Calm down. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. You know, the narrative is the black man doesn't care about his child. When in reality, if you're a thinking man, you know, if you know how to play chess, even play checkers, you know that there is a system in place that puts me in this lose-lose situation. I can be a weekend father. Whilst this nothing ass bitch is mentally, physically, and verbally abusing my child anytime he or she shows interest in their father. You laugh at the child when the child gets excited to come see their father. You punish the child when you hear them talking about how fun it was. You get angry, you start to boil inside when you see that this child actually does love the man that you hate with every morsel of your being. Oh, you think he love you? <laughs> you'll, you'll learn when you get older, but it's not about learning when the child gets older. 
The child is has pure eyes. The child has no bias. The child can see who's evil and who's not, who's good. Who's got evil in them, who it's just horrible to be around, and who has actual love. See, you can love the child, but you have so much motherfucking hate inside you for who the man is. There's no way. Because that child is me. That child is me. Do you know that these bitches... When a man does take the bitch to court and win, the bitch go off and kill the fucking child? Not because uh, I never let you... Because that would make the father happy. That would make the father happy and she knows it she can go on social media and say uh these dead be dad daddy and all she can do all that shit but she knows that the bond that you and that child have for you to get full custody of that child fuck what she lost it's about what you have gained Fuck what she lost. It's about what you've gained. She don't give a fuck. She leave that goddamn child at her mama house for fucking weeks on end. As long as you don't have the child, it's fine. She'll put the child on punishment. The child can go everywhere except the place where the child wants to be. With the father. She don't mind. The child's tears when you do say, you know what? I'm done. You win. You'll get your payments every month. Don't call me. I'm done. Tell my child. As a matter of fact, I can't tell you nothing to tell my child. Because why would you? I'm done. You win. You got it. I'm gone. When a man does that, hey, dad beat it. Yeah. So now the child is crying. My daddy don't want me. My daddy don't want me. Nah, he just a nothing ass nigga. He just a ah uh, yeah. He just an evil motherfucker. He an evil. How could you leave your child? Mm, mm, mm. Mm. So the child grows up believing this anger starts building up in this child. Daddy left me and, and, and because you never told you never told the true story. And believe God is going to punish you severely. This is why you get big. This is why you can't find a mate. Every man just come in and just because you have that burden on you that you'll you'll forgive everybody else. But as far as 
And you know what's fucked up is, and as far as forgiving or, or letting go of that hatred that you hold for that baby father, you won't do that. And you know what's so fucked up? The father say, I'm done. Five years, you know, and she'll be trying to call him and shit like that, trying to bring him back. It's like, I'm not going to play your game no more because your game. I posted this on uh, Facebook the other day. I said, pay attention to those who gain strength from your weakness. Seeing you hurt. Seeing you sad. Hearing you being mad, knowing that they got to you. It's, it's breath to them. It's air. Not them achieving a goal. Not them getting a promotion. Not them winning the lottery. Would not compare to the joy, to the energy, to the youth. The euphoria that comes over them from the baby father, the first baby father, being mad about something that they did. And you know, they'll be happy as fuck right up until that nigga come and kick that fucking dough down. You push a man, first of all, you put a man in a position, he didn't want a child by you, you nothing ass bitch. Never wanted a child, but because he's a man, come on, come on with it. You, like I told y'all before, a nothing ass bitch is all about reading. She'll let, she's just like a dope dealer, she'll let you get addicted to the child. Snatch the child away. Now this is my motherfucking. Now I can hold the child for ransom because you actually have a bond with this child now. It's like hold on, hold on, hold on. I didn't want the child. I just didn't want to be like everybody else walking away from their children. So I accepted this. But you know that you lied in the first place when you got fucking pregnant. You know you did. You know that you said you would never have a child until you graduated college. You know you said if you ever got pregnant you would have an abortion. You know you said that you was on the motherfucking shot. You nothing ass bitch. But this is the game they play. They understand from a young age that they'll probably never achieve anything worth anything. So their love, joy, and happiness is going to have to come from someone else's misery. So they start laughing at other girls, beating other girls up. Take, take time to make sure they gossip about people. These are the signs you have to watch out for. You're not blind. You can see the the joy she takes in watching love and hip hop. Anything with gossip in it, oh, ooh, girl. She, oh, just it's gossip, 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 gossip. Hey, you don't want to um. What's your goal? Oh, uh, I'm uh, I'm going to be a CNA. You 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 stay in the projects. You have a bullshit job. You have multiple children. The only thing that makes you happy is someone else's fucking misery. My nigga, run. I don't give a fuck what she looks like. Run. Run. So, once again, we have this, the oldest battle of time, the battle of a father trying to be a father to his child. He puts the thought in the back of his mind about the bitch playing him. It's a child here. And the bitch uses it against him. He uses his love for his child against him. 
and when it works, when you annoyed him and fucked him and made him so, you fucked him over and, and made him so fucking mad to where he wants to kill you, you go show it to fucking TMZ. Or he gets so fucking mad and he just says, I'm gone, you call him a fucking deadbeat. You row, you row, you row. Bitch, you know that he did not want to have a child with you. From that point forward, it shouldn't be no, if he's trying to be in that child, here you go, here you go, here you go. He didn't want to have a child with you. We all know it. You nothing ass bitches can cover for all the nothing ass bitches, but as soon as your little brother or your son gets a bitch or your and your son becomes one of these fucking football players or anything and a bitch get pregnant, then it's, oh, this nothing ass bitch. You know what the fuck is going on. The system gave you a fucking loophole because as a young nigga, nigga, we fucking, the fucker kind of, we fucking... Got you. Got you. And then you torment this man with something that you stole from him. If I didn't give it to you willingly, meaning the child, meaning you got the nut because I wanted to fuck, but as far as you taking my nut and turning it into a child? When I say, no, 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 go to the abortion clinic. I don't want to be part of that. I don't want to be part of that. I I'm good. I'm, I'm straight. Oh, no, nah, this is my body. Okay, well, look, don't hit me up about anything. Just you. That's your body. That's yours. You handle that. Good luck with that.